Hello, and welcome to another unboxing video sponsored by Connectus. My name is Brian East, and today we will look at the Insego Skyus 160 cellular router. Now this Cat6 LTE device by Insego is compact, powerful, and easy to use. The Cat6 modem will support 300 megabits per second down and 50 megabits per second up. And the dual SIM provides for auto switching and failover situations. Now the device's security profile includes WPA2 Wi-Fi security, advanced encryption, and VPN pass-through. The Skyus 160 offers multiple options for connection with power over Ethernet, USB, or 4-pin. More impressive, though, is the Skyus 160 has a 12-hour battery backup in case power is lost, making it the ultimate failover solution. This device provides fast connection speeds for remote branches, pop-up stores, kiosks, self-serve retail, and work and learn from home environments. The 4400 milliamp rechargeable battery is a real game changer in the industry. Consider how we depend on our cell phones during a power outage and extend that functionality to all of your IoT devices during a blackout. Pretty powerful. The Skyus Web user interface makes it easy to manage gateway settings and connected devices. With a few clicks, you'll be fully secure and ready to connect. It's that easy. It is truly a set it and forget it machine, which is a big reason I really like it. And don't forget that we at Connectus will usually be able to configure it for you before we ship it. This means it will be a true plug and play device when you receive it. All right, let's take a look inside. Perhaps the first thing you'll notice is the simplicity. There's not a whole lot to it, and it's by design. It's a very compact device. You've got the Insego Skyus 160 device itself, the power adapter, and three antennae. When we pull this out, you'll notice that there are three LEDs. One is your cellular strength, one is the Wi-Fi, and one is the indicator for the GPS. On the back here, you've got your I.O., the four pin power supply. You can also get power via uh, POE Ethernet. And then you've got a USB-C connection, which will also give it power. And this is your actual power button. On this other side, you've got two cellular antenna ports, SMA ports, as well as a GPS one. Now on the back, and I want you to pay attention here, is three stickers. The, you know, this one is everything in California causes cancer. This one is your FCC information. And over on the right hand side here, this is how you're gonna originally log into the machine. It'll tell you your SSID, and then underneath it will have the password. Now, very interesting feature, as I mentioned earlier, is the battery backup. We open up this box here, and this is your 4,400 milliamp battery. And underneath it is your, are your two SIM slots, SIM 1 and SIM 2. These little gates, you slide them past, and it allows you to place your SIM cards inside. These are going to be uh, nano SIMs. I recommend that you place uh, your primary SIM card into slot one. If you're only gonna use one SIM, you can put it into slot one. Or if you're gonna use two SIMs uh, for cellular diversity, you put your secondary one in there. Auto, auto SIM switching is, uh, comes part of the Insego Connect package uh, for the online management. So once you've put your SIMs in, you'll lock them into place. You can put your battery back in. and set your latch back on. The next thing that we'll do is to put your antennae on. Now it's important to note that you've got two cellular antennae that look very similar to the one GPS antenna and they are not interchangeable. You'll have your cellular right here 
and it'll be written down at the base and then your GPS is written at the base as well. So when we connect them on the back, make sure you've got the correct antenna for the correct slot. It'll tell you cell one, cell two, and GPS. And as you're connecting these, make sure to uh, twist them in thumb tight. You don't want to do it too hard. You'll break the device. And if you do it too uh, easy, then you won't get a very good connection. It'll be wobbly and kind of annoying. And right there. Now, as we mentioned before, there are three different ways that you can get power to this device, not including the battery backup. And the one that's included in here is your four pin battery adapter, or sorry, a power adapter. You just plug it in right there, plug it into the wall, and you're ready to go. Now, when you first log into the device using the credentials that you find in here, it's very important that the very first thing that you do is change your passwords. First, you're going to change the admin password, which is the password you use to change the way the system works. And then you're going to change the password for your Wi-Fi connection. So it's going to spit out a 5G and a 2.4 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi signal. And you can change the password for both of those. If you want, you can also change the SSID and give it something clever. Once you've done that, configure it however you want, if you want to further. Other than that, you're ready to go. The SkyS 160 is perfect for remote branches, pop-up stores, kiosks, self-serve retail, as well as work and learn from home environments. I really think you'll like it. This is Brian East with another Connective sponsored unboxing video. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn by scanning the QR code on the following slide. I'll see you next time.